Do you want more content on Cody, like more TV shows, more movies? Well, stay tuned, because that's what I'm going to show you today. Today, I'm going to show you how to get even more TV shows and even more movies on your Kodi. It's completely free and it'll only take about 10 minutes of your time. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, you need to go to Google or go to the internet. And you're going to type in IMDB. Click enter. And then right here at the top where it says IMDB, Movies, TV, and Celebrities, right here, you're going to click it. That's going to bring you to this page right here, okay? From here, we're going to go to right here where it says Other Sign-In Options. We're going to click that. Come down to where it says Create a New Account. Click on it and put in a username. Put in Rick Boss. Okay. And then it's going to ask you to put in an email and a password. So let me type this in and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I have my email and my password in and I'm just going to hit create your ID account. IMDB account. Alright, so we just typed in our email and our password and our username. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to our email account that we used. I just did a Hotmail account for this. Okay, now that we're now that we're in our email that we logged into, what we're going to do is we should see the IMDB user registration. We're going to click on that. Okay. Then we're going to come down and says, "Please confirm your email to get the full benefits." We're going to click on that. Okay. It's going to ask us to type this in. And that's just one of those things that makes sure you're not a robot. So you're just going to type in whatever you see on, on the screen. Then hit submit. All right. So now we have su successfully created our account. Now what we can do is we can go into account settings, sign in, use the same email and password that you just used to sign in, and then that will give us this right here. Okay? So what we should be able to do is Go to watch list, which is going to bring us to our watch list. Okay. Come down here to where it says edit. Click on edit. You'll see it will say settings up top here. Click settings. And make sure that your settings are not private. Make sure that your settings is set to public. All right. Then come down here to where it says save. And then Make sure you hit done, because if you don't click done, it won't 
it won't save them settings for whatever reason. Okay, so now that we've made our settings, or our watch list public, we'll be able to watch it on Cody. Now from here, since we saved our watch list, you can add some stuff in if you want. You can go down and try to find TV shows and stuff like that to add in. Or you can actually go on Google, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. So now that we have this created successfully, we want to go to our watch list. And then in our watch list up top here, you're going to see a number that says you are, and then it says 96273244. Whatever your number is, you're going to save that. You're going to save this number, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. All right, your number will be different. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you guys putting this number in because there's not going to be anything in this watch list. I'm just making this for this video. So if you put the number that I have up here in, you're not going to have any TV shows or anything like that. So I would suggest, you know, put your own number in because, like I said, I'm not going to have anything in here. So now that we've gotten to this point, okay, so let's let's add something here. We'll go, you go right up here to where it says movie, TV shows, or you can you can search it. So let's go, let's go to TV shows, IBM TV shows. We'll go top rated TV shows and click on it. And I'm just going to put, I'm just going to do Game of Thrones just to show you guys. So what you do is you come over here to where you see this little flag with the plus sign and just click it. Okay. Now that's going to add that to your watch list. So now when we come up. To our watch list, you'll see Game of Thrones is in there, right? Now, there's another way that you can search for TV shows without having to do any of this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go, I'm just going to click out, I'm going to exit out of all this, okay? I'm going to go back to Google, and I'm just going to type in, Top TV shows of, and we'll do 2000, top TV shows of 2018, okay? So if I click on that, it's going to give me a list, and I could do 16, 17, whatever, you know. You, you could just search Google for whatever. Now, let's, let's say that I wanted to add Better Call Sale, or Better Call Saul. I would click on it. And, and right down here, on a better call saw, you'll see, right here, it says, it says IMDB, right? So if we click on that, that should bring us right to our, our uh, IMDB watch list. And then we could just come right up here and click it. And now it will automatically add that to our watch list. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to add that to your library so that you'll have it right when you start up Cody. And now that we're back in Cody, and now that we're back in Cody, what we're going to do is, I'm going to use Yoda for this, but anything that has like the Exodus platform you can use, it's a lot of them are pretty much the same way. If you're using Numbers, uh, Yoda, Covenant, Exodus, it's all going to be the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your add-on, whatever one you want to link up to. You're going to go down here to where it says Tools. You're going to go up to where it says Accounts. And then you're going to go to right here where it says I am db you're going to click on that and then remember that number that i told you to remember the save and to remember that's what we're going to put in here so we're going to go and my number was 
92 27 oh, I'm sorry 96 96 27 32 44. We're going to put that number in and we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go up here to the top of the screen and we're going to push OK. OK. Now, all right. So now that we have our watch list set up and we've added two TV shows to our watch list, how do we get it to our library? And how do we watch those TV shows? Well, what we want to do is we want to come down to where it says add-ons, and then you're going to go to the add-on that you set it up to. So we set, I set mine up to Yoda. So I can either come here to where it says my TV shows and my movies, click on my TV shows, and then right there is our watch list. That's what we will, that's what we added it to, our watch list. So if we click click watch list, there they are. Game of Thrones and Better Call Saul. Okay, but let's let's take this one one more step. Let's make this even easier to get to. Hit back, hit back again, then come down here to where it says Tools. Okay, click Tools. You'll see it'll say Library. We're gonna click Library. Now you'll see Movie Folder. And you'll see TV folder. Okay. I don't have a movie folder set up. I it's the same, it's the same thing for each one. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then if you want to do a movie folder, just repeat the process. So we're gonna long hold the OK button. We're gonna hold the OK button in until you get this screen. So long press the OK button. Now at the very bottom. You'll see it'll say set content. Click that. Right up here where it says none, we're going to click that. And then we're doing TV shows, so I'm going to click TV shows. And then it, it'll, you'll see it'll give you this. Once you click TV shows, it'll give you this. So then we're going to hit OK. Yes, and let it go. You'll do the same thing for movies. You'll long press movies. You'll go down to where it says set content, where it says none. And then you'll just go up here to where it says movies, and then you'll hit OK. And that'll set up your your library. And when I say library, I mean where it says TV shows right here. At yours, you might have TV shows and movies, the top two. That's your library. All right. So now that we have our library set right now let's just add in all the stuff that I had saved you're gonna come back to where it says you're gonna come back to add-ons you're gonna click on your add-on you're gonna go to your your my TV shows where we just added those you're gonna go to your watch list And then you're gonna hover, you're gonna go to whatever one you want to add. So if I want to add Better Call Saul, I'm gonna long press the OK button again. Oh, come on. I'm gonna long press it, and then that'll bring us this screen. Right down here, you'll see Add to Library. You're just gonna click that. You're gonna hit OK, and you'll see up top it'll say. Yoda process and complete. So now it's going to add Better Call Saul to my library. 
All right, so now we just added Better Call Saul to our library. So if we go back and hit the back button, go back again, and we go out to our TV shows, we should see Better Call Saul right there in our TV shows. So by doing this at any given time, if somebody tells you about a new TV show or a new movie that you got to check out, you can do it right off your phone. All you got to do is just go to Google, type in the TV show that you wanted to see. So go into Google, and let's say somebody tells me about Better Call Saul. I got to check it out. All you have to do. All you have to do is just go to Google and in the search type it in. Right here, better call Saul. So if somebody tells me about this show and I want to go check it out, all I have to do is come here and then remember right down here, click on it. And then add it to your library right here add your watch list and you can do that you can type in anything you could type in you know um, zombie shows you can type in apocalypse shows so if I just come to Google type in zombie movies and look for zombie movies let's say World War Z click on World War Z go down and right there I am DB click on it and add it to your watch list and you can watch it later on when you go to Cody That's going to do it for today, guys. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and leave comments down below. Thank you.